After almost a three-year break, Stuart and I are heading back to Europe. First of all, we're going to catch a cruise on the amazing Oceania Riviera. The cruise goes from Barcelona to Trieste. It was originally Venice, but they replaced it with Trieste. And then we'll pick up our rental car in Trieste, and we're driving through the Dolomite regions of northern Italy, down to Verona, and then across to Milan, where we will catch the train to Zurich. But our first stop was Barcelona, so we caught the plane from Melbourne to Barcelona on Singapore Airlines. Uh, the flight went by Singapore and also Milan. We flew premium economy. Hello. The flight from Melbourne to Singapore was on a 777, with an older plane, the seats weren't as good. The second flight was on an A350 and the seats were far more comfortable. So we landed in Singapore about 9pm, had a bit of a walk around, it was about a two hour break and then a very late departure to Barcelona via Milan. And by this stage we were pretty tired. It's a 12 hour sector to Milan. There was about a one hour break in Milan and then they loaded us up again and took us through to Barcelona. So the early dawn was appearing as we arrived into Milan and by the time we got to Barcelona, we had a good view of the city on arrival. From the airport, we had a pretty good run through the airport and we caught a cab up to our B&B. Uh, b and is up in a place called Veldevera, which is above Barcelona. It has an amazing view over the city. We'd been to Barcelona before. We really just wanted a place to chill for five days where we could get over the jet lag. Uh, we also didn't want to get COVID. We had to do a COVID test before the cruise. So we basically wanted somewhere where we could self-cater for the five days. And this Airbnb was fantastic. It was really well equipped. We had our own kitchen, uh, fantastic views over the city, and amazingly, an infinity edge swimming pool. Uh, the first day it was a bit cloudy, but uh, later on, when the sun came out, we got fantastic views. You could actually see it was rather familiar, um, and all the way over the city. So it was a great place to spend a few days. We had the swimming pool to ourselves. It's for uh, the private use of this particular B&B. There were twin beds. It was pretty comfortable. The kitchen was pretty well equipped and the owner of the B&B uh, stocked it pretty well with a bottle of champagne, a few beers and some cheese and ham. It was lovely. And every room has a lovely view out over the terrace and across Barcelona. And we got to enjoy Stuart's special pasta bake with a bottle of red from the local supermarket. Belvedere is a fairly quiet little village. It's got two little supermarkets. You can get everything you need. There's no tourists up there at all. But it's actually got great access to some hiking trails around through the National Park which sits behind Belvedere. So for the first couple of days we just hiked through the hills and enjoyed the local environment. It was warm but overcast. I am Barcelona. Day one and we're feeling a little unfit. Velvedera down to Barcelona, you can take the funicular. Uh, the funicular was about 100 metres from our Airbnb. It is part of the public transport system in Barcelona, so just the standard train ticket or metro ticket is valid for the funicular. So we bought a ticket which allowed us daily use, and it's about a five minute ride down to the bottom of the hill. And from there, you can walk and see the sights of Barcelona, or you can continue on the metro. If you want to hear more about our time in Barcelona or our subsequent cruise or driving through northern Italy, please hit the subscribe button.